So water molecules are made up of one oxygen and two hydrogens. You can see the charge. An oxygen has a two plus charge and each hydrogen has a minus charge. When a mineral comes along like a calcium, calcium is plus. Yeah, so we can have a look under here, have a look at the water molecule and say the plus will attract itself and sit here in between the minuses. Calcium will now attach itself to the water molecule. So the question is, why does tap water leave spots on the window and pure water doesn't? Well, because tap water has minerals dissolved in the water and we call those a total dissolved solids or TDS. So TDS is a measurement of how many minerals, like you can see here a calcium, a calcium, a chlorine or a chloride, how many minerals there are that are dissolved in the water. And you might have a TDS reading of 50 parts per million. So this is a really exaggerated example where you can see one and two. Anything over 50 parts per million will leave a spot, anything under 50 parts per million won't. So in this case, what happens is that when there's some heat on the glass um, and the water goes to evaporate, right, the water molecules will evaporate, yeah, and they will leave minerals. And because the water evaporates in circles, the minerals will be brought closer together as the water evaporates, yeah, and they'll leave a spot. Now, if you've got pure water on your left, then you can see that there are no minerals in the water. It's been deionized and demineralized as a result. Then when the water evaporates yeah, from the glass, then all those water molecules evaporate you've got spot-free glass.